Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of a certified car nut. Well, this week, we're on the brick streets of downtown Flint, Michigan, for an event appropriately named Back to the Bricks. This show takes place the same weekend as the fabled Woodward Dream Cruise, just an hour south of here in the Detroit area, but it offers a much more laid back and relaxed venue than the pandemonium that can be Woodward. So let's get around and check out some of the cool cars assembled right here in the original hometown of General Motors. How you doing, man? Hey, Dennis, welcome to Flint. Glad well, to have you. <laughs> well, you put enough effort into getting me here, I well, gotta tell you. <laughs> you know, persistence pays off. Yeah, obviously it did. It but sure man, does. you weren't lying, Al. This is a heck of a show. Well, there's a lot of history here. These bricks have been down for uh, over 100 years, and it's the longest brick road in the state of Michigan. Okay. And being an automotive town uh, with all of our rich heritage, you know, this is just an excellent venue to have a car show. It's in our third year, and we're really growing, and the growth has just been short of phenomenal. And uh, our formula works well. Keep it free to the uh, to the participants and spectators alike, and they turn out in the thousands. So. They really do, yeah. and, 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 and today is a, is, a, is a testament to that. Great cars, great setting. It's been an absolute blast. Well, it's, it's, it's also a, it's a fluid event. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it's not we, a lockdown. They can park, but they can move, too. That's right. We don't hold anybody here for 12 hours. I think I would be on a lot of big little short lists if I did. <laughs> so they're allowed to come and go as they please. As you see, when a hole empties up, there's another car right into, uh, into that spot. So it works well, and, uh, you know, this is what's making the show. This yeah. is why people are coming out. Now, do you, do you think this is mostly local folks, or is it are they coming from... No, uh, we know that we're drawing out of state now. Uh, there's people from Ohio, Indiana, Ontario. Uh, I've seen a Tennessee plate, and one Texas, and one South Carolina plate. So. Well, I tell you, 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 you know, your persistence paid off. You weren't lying. It's a great show. What do you say we stroll the bricks hey, just a little bit and check some of these babies out? Do that. All right. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Greg, this is one bright Chevy truck. This is a 58 Apache, half ton step side, but it's got this Napco four wheel drive power pack conversion. What's the deal on that? Well, that was General Motors' competition to the uh, Dodge Power Wagons and the Ford Marmon Harringtons. Oh, okay. And it was a conversion that was either put on the factory in Chevrolet in 58 or more commonly by dealers or out outfitters. Uh, during that time. Where'd you find this? I found the car in uh, New Mexico, northern New Mexico. A friend of my uh, father's uh, son owned it and I bought it from him. He's a, uh, a weaver and raises, uh, in a, it was used as a ranch truck. Wow. Yeah. Beat, beat all up, but. Now it, it looks like you put it back pretty much, you know, as, as original, as correct. Is that true? Yes, I tried to do that. I'm kind of anal that way, and, uh, <laughs> and I wanted it to be as correct as possible. But how about the color? I mean, that, that color, that's not a 58 color. Oh, it? yes. That's, really? Uh, yes, that was a, uh, it's called Omaha Orange, and it was General Motors, uh, actually, it was their school bus color from 1937 no to 64. Yeah. Well, you know, interior-wise, it looks like you did the same thing. You kind of left it as it should be, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I. Uh, it's, it's uh, pretty much factory. The paints are better, obviously, today, uh -huh. but uh, the seat covers are original fabric that was found uh, in Washington State in a local, uh, a local fabric place. Well, now, you've got a fabulous bed, and that looks like maple. And I it don't is. think they did maple, did no, they? No, no, no. <laughs> Originals were uh, hard uh, pine, but my son's a forester in the UP of Michigan, and, and he cut the tree down for me, and... Uh, uh, sawed it and uh, we made the bed. So, yeah. Wow, you mean right from the, it's yeah, from right from the tree? Yeah, right from the tree. I actually, you know I actually of... have pictures of the tree before it was cut down. <laughs> Probably the best documented bed that there ever was. <laughs> A father-son project. Yes, I really like that. Fun, I like yeah. that. Now, under the hood? 235, uh, straight six. It's the original engine. It's on its third rebuild. Wow, really? And uh, it, uh, again, it's as original mm. as possible. These things must have a lot of metal in them if you can bore them out that many right. times. Right, I think they told me they can go to 80 thousandths over, so I think it's about at 60 thousandths over right now. So. Wow, well she is just absolutely 
uh, you know, a showstopper. I mean, what a gorgeous truck. And, and that setting it up there on that Napco running gear just makes it look. You know, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I love it. I love the truck. It's, uh, <laughs> it's fun to have, and I really appreciate your interest in it. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Greg, thanks for bringing this baby out. Thank you, Dennis. Appreciate it. Nice. It's his day. It's the big day. It's the big one. Larry, this is nice. 48 Austin Dorset. 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 Okay. Cute little car. You know, when Thank these you. things uh, found their way from England over to America, they almost went directly to the drag strip. I mean, yes, most they did. of these things were turned into, you know, bad to the bone gassers and stuff, weren't yes. they? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Some, a uh, few were altered too, but most of them were known as the gassers. And is that how this started its American uh, life? <laughs> yes, at one time its life was a gasser, and then what we did is uh, we just turned it around and made it like a street uh, uh, car or a hot rod. But I love, I love yeah, what you've you. done with this. Thank I mean, you. it's just, it's yeah. really cool. <laughs> and what, what got me was really the interior. I mean, uh, it's this beautiful black paint job. I mean, just shiny as, as yes. all get out. Yes. But, you know, the tan interior, I mean, it's it, it's so black and tan. It's like a good a good yes. British drink, you know? <laughs> yes. Our upholster uh, made a suggestion about putting black carpet in it. He says if we put the black carpet, it'll really make this uh, interior pop, and I think it does. So. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah. I try to keep it conservative and nice and clean. Yeah. So. Well, the gauges are great, too. Yes. That kind of antique white face and uh, the red needles. Yes, that was my wife's idea, so uh, we're giving her full credit for that. And the body styling is, is I think, really elegant. It's very much like a, a big car just shrunk down. You got the bustle trunk <laughs> and everything. It's, it's really, can I open it? Yeah, sure. Just uh, turn yourself. or? That, yeah, just turn it and just pull down on it. This one goes oh, down yeah. instead of pulls up. And it's, you know, got a little, got a little space in there, one suitcase maybe. Yes, yes. So what were these used for in England? Uh, well, I, I'm surmised that most of the public uh, could buy it, but uh, my wife tells me that uh, a lot of doctors bought this car in England back when they made house calls. Oh. And, and it had a four-cylinder in it, so it was a nice economical car. And, and reliable. Uh, reliable. Still had some sure. space. And, yeah, yes, so. yes. Well, you probably don't have the four-cylinder left in it, though, No, do I you? do not. Well, what we have is a, is a ZZ4, which is a Chevrolet crate motor. Uh-huh. Um, it's a... A 350, 355 horse. Polished aluminum and black. Yes. Again, just, yep. you know, kind sure. of understated. It's very unique car. I, I, you know, I love how you flipped it around. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, put a great interior in it. Nice engine. Good looking <laughs> black paint job. Thank great you. car, man. Thank you very much. Uh, should I say doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Making house calls, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Virgil, this is great. This is a 37 GMC Suburban carryall. That's correct. First one I've seen, but in I was thinking of these as Chevys. I mean, in 36, I believe, Chevy launched their Suburban carryall. That's correct. And then in 37, GMC does it with the same name. Right. Doesn't that seem odd to you? It does. I think they wanted to have something for the Pontiac dealers to uh, have show instead of a Chevrolet. It didn't have a Chevy engine originally, right? No, it had an Oldsmobile flathead, to the oh, best wow. of my knowledge. Wow. So where did this baby start its life, Virgil? Started in Dundee, Texas as a school bus. Oh, wow. Couldn't have hauled too many kids. It held about nine children. Okay. And was, uh, was how did how'd you find it? Is that where you, where you got it? You went down there? Or? No, it was wrecked in Dundee, Texas, and the uh, whole front end was knocked off of it, and it was really? set in a wrecking yard for many years, and my friend went down and bought it and brought it back, and that's how I bought it from him. And so she was pretty rough overall, not just the front end. It was... Right, I had to replace the front end and the frame and everything in the back, everything. I put new running boards on, new fenders and so forth. Wow, how long did it take? Oh, about two years. Wonder but right. inside, you've, uh, you've added all the creature comforts. Yes, I have. Uh, it's got uh, power seats in it, and they're out of a uh, trailblazer, and they have um, shoulder harnesses and so forth. And we put uh, air under the dash. I tried to keep the dash looking as original as I could. Yeah, you didn't. It doesn't look like you cut it at all. You just put in some more modern gauges, and, right? And a lot of headroom. Yes, plenty of headroom. I can wear a hat yeah. in there. <laughs> well, you know, as you go to the back, you can see that it, uh, you know, it, it lived part of its life as a school bus because she opens out this one. I guess I thought they were clamshell. Well, well, some did have the clamshell, but I think more had the uh, the doors like this, the barn doors as we called them, because they were uh, used on military bases and they were used mm -hmm. primarily as school buses as well. Yeah. Now this would have, this wasn't powered by a Chev engine. It was, you were it, saying- It old... had an Oldsmobile flathead in uh -huh. it. Which you probably don't have anymore. No, I it didn't no, have it no, when no, I got no. it. It was all gone, so. We'll open her up, let's okay, have a Okay, sure. Oh man, you went you went Corvette. Yeah, it's nice. It's all computerized, 4L60E transmission, and it uh, gets about 20 miles to the gallon out on the highway. No so kidding. yeah, it does. It amazes me. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a showstopper. I mean, she's a she's an absolutely beautiful vehicle. Run down the road pretty nice. It drives as nice as it looks. I man, swear it does. Oh man, oh man. 
Now, have you uh, have you been to this event before? No, I've never been here before. I was going to go to the Woodward Cruise, and I'm delighted I came here today. It's been just a super day. It's very relaxed. I don't have to be caught in a traffic jam, and, and, and it's just been a wonderful day. So it, ha it has been cool. Hasn't yeah, it? it's been a nice day. It's so. a good event. Well, virtually, you got the only 37 uh, GMC Suburban here, and I really like it. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for you bringing so it out. Much. Thank you. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, John. Lincolns were always known for being long, low, uh -huh. and lovely. And this one's really long, it's very low, and it's quite lovely. 69 Mark III, right? That's correct, yeah. Is that the first year for the Mark III? Yes, it was. They, they made it for three years, 69 was the first. Man, how long you had this baby? Uh, I've had it for 12 years. It's been in this uh, con configuration for 10. It's been Man. done for 10. It's, it's really cool, and you've, you know, it's pretty subtle what you've done, but she really stands out. It's a uh, it's quite a paint job you got there. I mean, it's, it, you know, I see why you're wearing shades. I wish I had shades on. What is that? It's a pearl something. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a, Cadillac, a Cadillac color. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that on the caddies. We've, you've all also dropped it down quite a ways. Mm -hmm. how, how did you do that? Is it air ride or what it is it? It has air suspension in the front and lowered coils in the back. Oh, so uh, it's lowered right now five inches in the front, three and a half in the back, and I raised it about an inch and a half in the front to drive To it. drive, so that's why you have yeah. the air so you can, mm -hmm. you can adjust. Yeah. It looks, I mean, it just looks so sinister down there, even though it's white. But you took advantage, I think, of all the design elements in this car. I mean, the, the, the way you picked up on the, the hood, you know, you got this, the center section and you louvered that it just it looks awesome mm -hmm. did you do that yourself uh yeah i built a, a press that does that and I, I stamp them one at a time it'll cut and stamp uh, one louver at a time now so. how much pressure does that take about five five tons <laughs> that's a lot of pressure yeah, you, do, do you, you have to cut want to it first no no it'll it'll cut it and stamp it all right? at once man i mean i just love it you've shaved the you've shaved everything off it yeah all get rid of all the emblems and the door yeah. handles and and, and and the interior though is is pretty much uh you know, stock Continental, right? Um, yeah, it has a black leather interior. Uh, I, I changed the steering wheel to a Grant steering wheel, and I made a tonneau cover. It covers the back seat. Yeah, now, you know, I would have expected that in a, in a, in a convertible, but you did this in a, a hardtop, and that's a, it's a great look. It looks factory. Well, I, I made it out of styrofoam. It was covered with fiberglass, and I put the Continental emblem in the middle that used to be on the side of the roof, and some people asked me if it was a prototype for this car. And, <laughs> And, uh, well, it's it looks, a sort of pattern after the like the 63 Thunderbird. Yeah, oh, I could tell it. And it looks, I mean, it looks awesome. And you're, you're making good use of the leftover emblems that you shaved yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you chop it? She looks chopped. No, I, I took the vinyl top off. Uh, that was one of the biggest things that made the car look different is getting rid of the vinyl top. Every one of these came with a vinyl yeah. top on it. So. And with that off, it does look chopped. Maybe it's the combination of it being dropped and the vinyl top being gone. But it, it looks, it looks chopped, and it's not, huh? Mm, no. Oh. You really cleaned it up back here too. All the lettering's gone, and she's just—it's just smooth. And I like the the kind of two-tone lavender. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you do that too? Uh, I did the scallops when a friend of mine did the pinstriping. But you've done—you've done virtually everything on this car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. Well, and you know, you get down here, and again, it just—she looks chopped. Especially from the back. Oh yeah. 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 You know, it looks sinister even though it's white. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, when you—how uh, many miles? It has 120,000 on it. On this car? Mm-hmm. And, and I mean, so you drive it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's never on a trailer. Let's put it that way. So. Have you taken it to car shows far away or? Um, far away. I've been to in Indianapolis. Uh, that was about uh, 320 miles. Yeah. Oh, so, so does it always uh, does it always kind of get attention wherever it goes? Yeah, people really like this car. So. You, you just don't see them. I mean, I've I've never. I've never seen one done this way. No, I can. Uh, I go to good guys in Columbus. Uh, there's 6,000 cars, and I'm basically the only one like it. So, which is nice. Which is, <laughs> is. nice to be. Uh, now, have you ever you know. been to this show before? No, this is the first time on this show. How, how do you like it? It's very nice. Very it, nice. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of old-time feel with the brick road, and uh, and and there's a lot of room for people to wander around. So, yeah, I'd come here again. It's just relaxed. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, when you come again, bring this baby, okay? Thank you very much, Dennis. Nice ride. Long, low, and very lovely. <laughs> Oh man, we had a great time here at Back to the Bricks in Flint, Michigan. This is a really nice laid back event. A few thousand cars gathering on downtown streets of a town that's absolutely dripping in automotive history. You ought to check this one out.